Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are concluding the Undead Outlaws five-week-long contest with a bit of a special character. Uh, it's not one, but two. We have the two so's, folks. Um, I came up with that all by myself. Don't at me. Um, we have Jimmy and Jay, aka the Usos. We the one. I will be affectionately referring to them as a two so um modern era chaotic showboat coachability at 26k protect gems do 100 percent more damage links zombies 20 percent more health and why my via legacy gems do 25 percent more damage and modern era gems do five percent more damage just the one standard set of gear. This is a fairly uh, special character here, folks, because as you can see, two for one special. Two heads are better than one. Every single move is a combo move because we are literally combining two superstars. And they've even sewn them together at the chest. They've even sewn them together at the chest. Props to the team on this design very well thought out uh, and looks very fun i'm excited to do this preview first thing we're going to do is take a look at a build available at five star we're going to be running a triple yellow uh, the finisher the double down 10 mp the yield 233,394 damage plus 99,358 bonus damage for every reinforced gem then deal 233,394 damage and make 28 reinforced gems into yellow gems. Yellow 2, setting sun, 7 MP, deal 110,243 damage and choose two rows to make into reinforced gems. Then deal 110,243 damage and choose two columns to make into reinforced gems. And the five star move, the charging bull, 7 MP, Deal 192,063 damage and choose a 3x2 area to swap into yellow gems. Reversal move as well if the opponent generated at least 2 power gems. Then deal 357,690 damage and make 20 random power gems into protect gems of strength 561,573. Then steal the opponent's turn. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is reinforce gem damage just to show how this looks. And then we'll go against an opponent with power gems just to display how the reversal mechanic works. Uh, Kofi for yellow MP. Sina for yellow MP and 45% more damage to our yellow gems. Hall of Fame Taker for that flat 12k. And Hall of Fame Yokozuno for, Yokozuno, Yokozuna for 100% reinforce gem damage that's what happens when you try to say like three words at once you end up saying it wrong uh for the belt 30 percent gem damage on the base 40 percent all gem damage from the two sets of fury 2 so double that for 80 and we're going to use the bulldogs bracers plate whenever you generate 10 or more reinforced gems increase your yellow gem damage by 25 percent and your red gem damage by 75 percent for three turns. And because there's reinforced gems, we have a little bit more leeway with the pin bar. Should be able to stack this a couple times. So let's see what Tuso has in store. Brains, blah! I did it, I did the thing. Um, this looks really cool. Okay, so 55K to our yellow gems. I have max tort perks, so like everything is ready to go on turn one. We're gonna pretend our finisher isn't loaded though. There's your two rows, combo move, there's your two columns. Charging bull, a three by two Aria. Shout out to Gerson. And uh, because it's reinforced gems, probably that's gonna be a wild card. I don't want that. But it's not going to move the pin bar a whole lot. Which means... We can just go ahead and stack the you-know-what out of these reinforces. So 
So yes, we're playing with our food. But who doesn't? Should be able to get this ready to go for a turn one full board. Or we could hit a wild card. That works too. Mm. Y'all see the point though. Now here's the other thing with reinforced gems. I'm actually kind of happy that happened. Um, the opponent's going to get to use them to their advantage too, right? So normally that would have pinned us. But instead, they got the wild card. They got to load their finisher up. Fun little mechanic, I guess. Reinforced gems are universal. And columns. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the finisher to show how it works. Uh, 70k. So 86k on the reinforce. Going to go super slow-mo because I love this move animation. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 7.1 mil, all the bonus damage per reinforce. And then a full recycle and some beefy gem damage. So that's 12.5 mil on the pin at 6 star bronze. Rawr. Um, fun! Let's go find ourselves a power gem opponent. So now we're going against an opponent with power gems. Same entourage, same belt same build um but i'm just going to swipe and let him take a turn so we can display how the reversal mechanic works my turn there you go so now we have these really strong protect gems on the board. I'm going to go ahead and like acro dragon style this. So 4.7 with just one tick of that reinforce move. And that's blocking like 2.6 2.7 mil damage on the kick out attempt that's how that works folks uh that is the triple yellow build let's go ahead and see the multiply gems next build we're going to take a look at is available at six star we are running triple purple purple one the sky is falling six mp Choose a three by one area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into multiply gems of strength four. When broken by you, then deal 87,405 damage and make three pyro gems into purple gems. Uh, purple two, the dynamite drop, eight MP. Deal 124,553 damage and make 18 multiply gems into purple gems, then deal 124,553 damage and increase your blue mp by four bites the six mp not bite bites because it has two heads nine mp deal 158,994 damage and increase the strength of your multiply gems by five then Deal 158,994 damage and decrease the damage of all of your opponent's gems by 15% for two turns. Entourage for this is looking a little weird, and here's why. Um, Woods for purple MP. Hall of Fame Dusty for a plus two on a purple match. Mem Rock for the multi-gem strength increase. Now, normally I would say NWO Hogan here for the move charge. However, I have max tour perks and that gives me plus two. So I don't want to show it with NWO Hogan and give everybody a false idea of how this is going to work in other game modes. Um, Dusty makes it a five match and then the tour perks makes it a seven match. If I put NWO Hogan on, the sky is falling would fill the bites immediately and that's not entirely realistic. So I am refraining from using NWO Hogan for that reason. For the belt, um, I've looked for some purple gem subsets. I brought in a chaotic blast because 
it increases the critical gem chance by 10%. That's literally the only reason. Um, there's no sub, so I can't use a whole heart. There's no um, plate for purple multiply gems. Like there's no pyro or tiara or nightmare plate equivalent for purple. Um, so I'm just going ahead with the chaotic blast. And there's no ultimate plates that spit out purple gems or do anything by breaking purple gems to generate another color. Um, you can stack the defensive stance plate if you break four or more purple gems at a time. So that is something you could do from a defensive standpoint. But as it stands, this is what I'm going to do. And let's see how it looks. Brains, blah. Okay, so 25 or 29. I don't know how to read. Now, after all of this preamble, I'm going to Cascade. Because that's just how it works. Just kidding. Uh, 149. Go ahead and hit the boost. Make those times 10. We're going to need to put this out twice. Or we could just cascade into a purple match. Fuck yeah. I'm rolling with it. Working as intended. Working as intended. Brains. Blah! Take that game. I wanted to show the realism and you dropped me a purple match. So that's on you. That's on you. Oh, but that's what you would do is basically play near the top. Try to load up the purples as much as possible and... Bada bing, bada boom. Realist two so in the room. How you doing? Um, I do want to run this one more time and showcase um, some of the MP steel moves. So let's set that up real quick. Last build I wanted to take a look at brings in um, one of the MP stealing moves. Uh, this one is the Soul Stealer for MP. Deal 161,982 damage and steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's purple moves. Then deal 161,982 damage and steal up to 926,603 health. Um, there is a move we did not look at. It is the bloody boot for MP. Um, it is basically the equivalent, but it steals yellow and you do bleed damage instead of stealing health. Um, maybe it doesn't flow the greatest with the yellow moves. Um, the purple at least has something that gives you the blue MP back. With the yellow set, you would probably want a kid's lightning plate. Um, but the good thing about the yellow and the purple is they self-recycle. So the MP steal is just kind of there to provide the extra damage even if there isn't any MP to steal. Um, so Entourage for this, I'm using Tech Lex for plus two blue MP and a multi-gem strength increase. Clubber Lang for 150% more for the health steal, keeping on Mamrock. And then Showboat Nakamura for stealing 100% more health. We are up to 3.2 million on the health steal. Brains, what? All right. Uh, so steal up to 4 MP and then 3.2 million health. Yeet! Big ass Mortal Kombat uppercut. Shout out to Fireball Kid for saying that in the chat. Good, it didn't cascade. I wanted to show that it fills up the blue MP afterwards. Oh no, you have more purple MP. Uh, yeet! Finish him. And then, like, we're full health. Showboat, vitality medals, that could get silly. Just constantly healing yourself at an alarming rate. Easy, fun, versatile. Love to see. So all gem damage builds from the for the most part. He has a bleed. He has a health steal. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Tuso 
We the One. Again, a modern era chaotic showboat. Coachability at 26k. Protect gems do 100% more damage. Lynx zombies, 20% more health. And Hawaii Mayavia Legacy, 25% more gem damage. Modern era gems do 5% more damage and just the one standard set of gear. No, this doesn't count as a tag link for itself because they are one person. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video. We've had a lot of really fun, strong zombies come out this event. Um, we had Damien Priest as your freebie, Cody Rhodes as your chase, Zombie Gunther, Zombie Becky Lynch, Zombie Liv Morgan, Zombie Sami Zayn, and now Zombie Tuso. Who's your favorite? Let me know in the chat. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.